Hi, my name is Paul and I am the lead research technician here at the How to Linux Research Labs. In today's video is titled How to Install Apache on Rocky Linux 9. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here's my um my Rocky Linux installation. Here's the NeoFetch. As you can see, it is a Rocky Linux 9.2 environment. Okay? Don't really need anything else down here. Rocky Linux 9. Okay, I'm going to install the Apache web server on Rocky Linux 9. Okay. So I can go ahead and clear on that. Um, the Apache HTTP server is one of the most uh, popular web servers in the world. I think Nginx might be another one that's kind of been uh, coming on recently. But yeah, it's always been Apache for me from like way back. Uh, it is um, an open source application that runs on any that runs on any Linux server, and it's completely free to install. It uh, it is uh, used to handle requests and and deliver static and dynamic content. Uh, due, due to its reliability and flexibility and security, millions of website owners, developers, and web hosting providers trust it. Okay, let me let me walk you through the steps involved in installing the H, uh, the, installing the Apache server. It's also known as HTTP HTTPD. So if you ever see that package or those or those um, those letter those characters strung together, they're talking about Apache web server. HTTPD. So I'm going to show you how to install the Apache server on Rocky Linux 9. And um, a couple of uh, main features of HTTP. Why would you want to use it over Nginx? Loadable dynamic modules, static file handling, auto indexing and content negotiation, HT access configuration support, IPv6, and HTTP2 compatibility. Compression, bandwidth throttling, and FTP support. Built-in scripting support, load balancing and session tracking, and a URL rewriting and geolocation based on IP address. Now, there are a few uh, prerequisites that you're going to have to have. You're going to have to have a Rocky Linux or uh, some other RHEL-based uh, distro like a RHEL, CentOS, or Fedora. And we're going to install the HTTPD, uh, HT, T, HTTPD PD package. So that's not already installed, probably. So we're going to install it if, we, if it's not already installed. And a user account that has a root, you know, either a root user or account or a user account that has a pseudo privileges. I have all that. And it is recommended to run all the administrative commands uh, with sudo instead of being logged in as root. Okay, so okay, so we've seen uh you know my lab set up here. Rocky Linux nine, and then there's a host name, Rocky. You can use Rocky, I do believe. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and use Rocky for for the host name, and then of course the IP address. You can get that by an IP config, or is it? I'm sorry. IF config. Okay, so you're gonna have to make note of your your local the the the, the host IP address, which would be up here 192.168.1.5. Okay, so make note of this or remember it or write it down or whatever because we're gonna have to use the the um the host IP address here. Okay. So we'll clear on that. And um, first step, step one, we're going to install the, uh, the Apache HTTPD package. Okay. Uh, a little side note, you should uh, consistently update your operating system, prior, which I did. I ran sudo dnf, the standards, this one right here. Should always run that first before you start doing this kind of thing. Before you um, install the uh, the Apache server package with the D with the DNF command here. 
Okay, so don't always do that. I did that, and we're all caught up then. Okay, so once I've done that, or once you've done that, uh, we can now go ahead and install the HT, the, the Apache server package from the app stream, re, from the app stream repository of Rocky Linux by executing the following command. Okay, so I can go ahead and clear on that. Step one is this. We're going to use the DNF package manager and we're going to install HTTPD. We're going to install the Apache package here. So once you key that in, and then you can see all the uh, dependencies. You can see the core package here, and th these are the um, the repos it's pulling from. And I have these installed. You're gonna probably have to have these repos installed if if they're not already part of your Rocky uh, installation. And you can look that up separately and you know how to add this repo to your repo list, to your sources list. Okay, and you can see there's some dependencies here in the architecture. No arch means that it's not only for x64, x86-64, it's for x86-64, it could be for whatever other architectures in play like ARM or, or whatever. Okay, so dependencies and weak dependencies. Okay, so you can go down the list here and see what's going to be installed. Okay, otherwise we'll go Y on that. Let it download and install. Uh, I guess I'll just keep it here. We're pretty much at the end here. Okay, that was pretty quick. Everything was inst downloaded, installed, verified, installed. Okay, good. So the the, uh, the Apache server package has been installed. So we can clear on that. And... Um, so the, yeah, that output we just got there indicates that the version of Apache server well let's see I didn't really get I didn't really catch the um okay we can see here if we can get the version here 2.4.53 and at at the the time of this recording of this video this is the best version of the Apache server so if you're getting this right now you're up to date then of course as the days and months and weeks go by days and week as the days, weeks, and months, and years go by, this will, I'm sure this will fall behind. But for right now, this is the most current version as of uh, August uh, 2023. Okay, so. Actually, I could have. Um, I can actually, you can actually get the, uh, the version this way. HTTPD. The standard, you know, the standard flag switch whatever option for getting versions of things and there we go 2.4 server version 2.4.53 Rocky Linux okay yeah that's the most current version as of as of right now August 2023 okay so step two and I'll be back with step two Okay, I'm going to use um, three different um, um, uh, commands with the system CTL keyword that interfaces with the systemd, the systemd uh, service manager. So I'm going to use system CTL, and then we're going to do uh, like three different operations on on this service. The first we're going to do is we're going to start the service this way. Pseudo system CTL start that package, Apache package. And I'm going to go ahead and key on that. Okay. If it wasn't started, it probably started by now. So that'll be running now. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and reuse it again. Now, it's probably running now, and we'll verify that in a minute. Now, enable, if we don't do enable, then when we start, reboot the computer next time, there's a good chance that it won't run again because it wasn't enabled. It started just for the session now. And enable... Uh, makes it so that uh, it'll start across reboots or you can even do enable space dash dash now I, I believe now dash dash now will wor work as well or you can just break it up into two different lines or you can have a two-in-one enable dash dash now same thing I do believe okay so that's good that looks like it's been enabled okay 
and and we'll just uh, reuse that same just use the re, uh, reuse the same line again except we're gonna back out enable and we're gonna get the status and it should be green active loaded okay good uh, loaded active green okay yeah then you can read everything the servers running here on the back end here and it's always kinda good to read what's going on here listening on port 80 okay so we're gonna point our browser to port 80 and and get something okay now we don't have to keep this running here we can just go ahead and bug out of there and it still runs we don't we didn't actually kill it it should still be running at that point okay so uh, yeah we just uh, confirmed that the um, that our newly installed Apache web server uh, service is active and running okay and then on to step step three okay so that's it um, on to step four um, step three and we're gonna um, we're gonna check it by uh, by um, you know getting a, an Apache uh, HTTP server test page so yeah so the uh, Apache server is ready to use at this time we're gonna open the browser and we're gonna enter the server IP address which is the the host name of Rocky which was what we got before 192.168.1.5 that's the, that's the the server that's the server IP address and then the, and then the port that it's running on do you believe it should be 80 okay and then once we get a test page that'll mean that our server is up and running so we'll minimize on that and we'll open up the browser and we'll be back once it opens okay so I got my Firefox browser up this is the home page Rocky Linux so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, back this out and I'm gonna key in the server the server IP address which is actually the host IP address here in that remember we got that from the terminal with the um, IF config it was 192.168.1.5 and then a, a colon two dots remember we, when we did the uh, status and we saw it was running on port 80 okay so we're gonna put in the port okay so then we're going to enter on that, and there's our HTTP server uh, test page. You can scroll down, standard test page. HTTP server test page. This page is used to test the proper operation of an HTTP server after it has been installed on a Rocky Linux system. If you can read this page, it, it means that the software is running, is working correctly. Okay, great. So now you're ready to. Um, write your uh, you know you create web pages with uh, JavaScript HTML5 CSS C CSS3 um, any of the other uh, JavaScript uh, uh, frameworks like uh, Angular, Vue, React and then it'll render once you do the code it'll then you can run it and it'll render in your in your browser with the help of the um, HTTP server here of the Apache server okay so yeah this test page here um, again it, it, it does uh, confirm that Apache web server has been successfully installed and is working fine uh, with Rocky Linux 9 basic Apache, basic Apache installations usually only cover a single uh, page website and you can learn more about how to set up and deploy a single page uh, website in production by reading um, LAMP documentation. LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, Maria, and uh, PHP. Uh, so you can read setup guides on on LAMP on the LAMP stack. And that's it. There's some more stuff, but we, I think we we covered the the basic of it. You got the the Apache uh, web server installed on Rocky Linux 9, and we verified that it's actually working, and we're able to actually make a request. Um, I wouldn't say this is really quite a request. Maybe we're just seeing if it's it's running at this uh, socket address, the, the IP address, and then the port. 
so that when we do um, send uh, HT, you know uh, HTML code to it, JavaScript code, and we know it's going to render in in the in, in the browser window. Okay, yeah. So that was how to install uh, install and and um, you know uh, and manage and and verify that uh, Apache server was uh, installed on Rocky Linux 9. Okay, thanks for subbing, uh, subscribing, and watching, and thank you for your comments and your feedback. I am Paul, and I am the lead research technician here at the uh, How to Linux Research Labs. Until my next video, uh, thank you. Bye-bye.